case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for the high stakes legal battle between laurel corporation and austin instrument inc over a navy radar contract was rooted in a rising conflict of economic duress in business law in 1971 this high profile case was heard by the new york court of appeals to determine if economic duress had been effectively used by Austin Instrument to coerce Laurel into unfairly increasing payments. Laurel, after winning a sizable $6 million contract with the Navy for radar set construction, subcontracted 23 component parts needed for the project to Austin Instrument. However, when Laurel won a second contract and placed bids, things took a sudden turn. Austin sought to play hardball. They threatened to withhold crucial components necessary for the first contract unless Laurel agreed to both assign them the complete subcontract for all 40 parts on the second contract and agreed to substantial price increase for both contracts. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, Laurel found its options dwindling. After reaching out to a myriad of potential manufacturers only to find they couldn't meet their deadline, Laurel felt compelled to comply with Austin's demands under duress. Later, the dispute over the uneven arrangement landed in court when Austin accused Laurel of a contract breach for refusing to pay in full. Subsequently, Laurel countersued, alleging economic duress on Austin's part. Despite having their complaint dismissed by the lower courts, Laurel appealed to New York's Court of Appeals, citing the use economic duress and manipulation by Austin Instrument in gaining an unfair advantage. The case underlined the principle that a contract can be voided on the grounds of economic duress if one party is forced into agreement by wrongful threat, leaving them with no feasible alternatives or adequate remedies. The court delineated key factors for determining duress, such as the immediate requirement for goods and unavailability of satisfactory substitutes. Finally, the Court of Appeals sided with Laurel, ruling that the company had indeed been subjected to economic duress by Austin. Therefore, Laurel was entitled to restitution to offset Austin's unjust enrichments from the increased payments. The case was a breakthrough in delineating an often debated area of business law, setting a crucial precedent for future instances of high-stakes contract disputes. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.